All right, happy Saturday. Good morning, everybody. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Fifty seven degrees out here right now. Fifty seven, still got some waves out here. No signs of any red tide here at Del Norwegans this morning. However, they are saying there's red tide down to the south of us, down in Naples. No signs of red tide at Del Norwegans as of right now. Let's hope it stays like that. Let's hope it stays that way. clouds out there this morning clouds down to the south of us here high tide right now. It's going to get up to almost 80 today. Eyes are going to be in the upper 70s there. It might hit 80. Let's see what happens. A little whelp, a little lightning whelp shell. A little chipped up there. Nice colors on it though. Nice colors. Not as windy as it has been in the past two days. That's a good thing. Still concerned though about that red tide coming back here. Right now, right now, no red tide. At Del Norwegans. There is red tide down to the south of us in Naples. And to the north. Not right here at the Del Mo Wiggins. I'm gonna walk up the beach a little ways. See how things look up there. Actually, we're not quite at high tide here. Tide is still coming in. Not many shells here on the beach this morning. Not a whole lot of shells. There's a little, little cockle shell, half of a cockle shell. really 
really old lightning wealth here. It's starting to turn to stone, it's starting to fossilize. That is an old lightning wealth. Wow, really old. Gorgeous out here. A little on the cool side for me, for this Florida boy. Beautiful as we look out into the Gulf there. Down to the south. see our osprey frame yesterday and it's not up there today either not up on its branch it loves to sit one of our ospreys usually we find it sitting right there in the mornings not this morning hmm. that's two mornings in a row this beach it's just really flat right now here. It just looks like somebody took a broom and just swept all the shells off it. Really clear out here though. The air is clear. I zoom in here. And get a really good look at Fort Myers Beach up there. Bonita Beach there, Stero Boulevard. That's Lele there, Lele Barefoot Beach. Still kind of rough here. A little too rough for our dolphins to come in close to shore. They've been hanging further out in the Gulf there for the past few days. However, it is a lot calmer than it was yesterday and the day before. Loving this weather though. So nice that it's cooling down.
There's the nice little pear whelk. Nice little pear whelk. That's got some nice colors on it too. That's a nice looking pear whelk. The tips broke off. Doesn't have the whole tip on it, but still a nice looking, nice colors. Nice looking little shell. There's a lightning whelk. Hey, here's something. This, they're both. I got a lightning whelk now and a pear whelk in my hand. Now you can really see the difference between the two shells. See how the openings are on the opposite side? The lightning whelk is on the right, the pear whelk on the left. See the pear whelk's smoother on the top. The lightning whelk has the little ridges. Great comparison there, almost identical in size. So you can really see the difference there. The pear whelk on the left, the lightning whelk on the right. And then of course, we can always find our conch shells, our little fighting conchs, the Florida fighting conchs. It's usually pretty easy to find these on the beach here. Beautiful little shells. Always make sure there's nothing alive inside of them before you take them home. Sometimes hermit crabs make their homes inside those empty shells. Not just the conchs. Ah, some sun. That feels great out here. Warming up. It's a little snowy egret over there. Nice little scallop. What else is down here? What else, what else?
really quiet out here this morning. It's cool weather. We'll come out a little later. There's a bunch of little sandpipers running around on the beach up here in front of me. Watching these little sandpipers scurrying around here. You see them all out here in front of me? It's running around. I call them little beach mice. They look like a bunch of little mice running around. A lot of turkey wing shells down here too this morning. Let's see if I can find a nice one. Yeah, they're all they're all pretty worn out. <laughs> Here's a turkey wing. For those of you that have never seen a turkey wing shell. There's a Murex down here. Nice, nice apple Murex shell. That's a nice one. Great little apple murex. What else is down here? What? There's piles of shells and then there's all these little shells mixed in with them and you just gotta look, you gotta stop and look. You just keep on walking. See that? I walked right by this. Nice little moon shell. See what happens when you stop and look? It's a little nautica. It might be a Paul Newman. It looks like it's got that blue tint to it. Wow. Just stopping for one minute, found a nice little apple murex and a nice little nautica, a little moon shell. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? There's a pile of worm shells down here, just a pile of them. There's a little, that's an old pear whelk, a little pear whelk. That's a really old one. another nautica it's got a hole in it that one's seen better days some great stuff out here though this morning already some great little finds There's a piece of a worm shell, a wormy tube. That's cool looking. Boy, lots of shells scattered about the beach here. This is the south end of Area 4. Lots of shells strewn all about here.
<laughs> what could be in this pile here? Lots of scallops down there. Another pear whelk. Another pear whelk there. A lightning whelk. A little lightning whelk. That's a, not in too bad a shape. Wow. Great stuff out here. Great stuff. Some good shelling opportunities for anybody that wants to come out. I'm not taking everything. Believe me, I'll leave the good stuff here for you. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say this morning. Wow, wow, wow. Lots of neat stuff on the beach. Lots of whelks. Little tiny ones. Look at that little one right there. Little lightning whelk. Lots of neat stuff. I already got a handful. <laughs> Already have a handful of shells. Yes. What a great Saturday morning. You just never know what you're going to find when you come out here in the mornings. Some mornings we don't find anything. Other mornings, my pockets aren't deep enough. There's a nice little olive shell. It's a nice little olive right there. There's a nice sand dollar down there. A nice little sand dollar. Somebody will definitely pick this up. Everybody likes to have a sand dollar or two. How is everybody doing out there this morning? If you're new to the beach walks here, be sure you introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from.
We're up in North Naples, Florida at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. We're just making our way north up the beach here. Oh, wow. Look at this pile of shells right here. Look at that pile of shells. You can only imagine what's buried in there. There's a big worm tip. A big wormy tip right there. Boy, that's the kind of stuff you need to take, spend some time digging through. Piles like that. Well, the good news, if you're just tuning in, the good news is there's no red tide here at Del Nor Wiggins. Thank goodness. The red tide is rearing its ugly head here down to the south of us and to the north. We seem to be okay right now. Look at all these worm shells. Look at all these worm shells on the beach. You see all those worm shells down there? There's a little moon shell down there. Little ups, little, little chip in it. I'm gonna keep it. Some nice worm shells out here though. I just saw a big one. Where'd it go? Nice little worm shell. Thank gosh. Just piles of worm shells out here. Piles of them. Absolutely gorgeous morning here. Look at that blue sky. Just beautiful.
clouding up down to the south. I have a handful, a handful of great stuff already. Ugh. Can't even hold it all. There's a really old Murex shell down here. Look at that. That is a really old. Old lace murex there. Can I get this stuff in my pocket here? I'm having a hard time. I got my jeans on this morning because it was cold out. And they're a bit on the tight side. I'm having a hard time getting all the darn shells in my pocket. I've caught several little shark eye shells this morning. down here what did I see down by my feet oh, just a little conk I'm not sure if that that might be a little baby crown conk if I'm not mistaken that might be a little baby crown conk not sure Great stuff out here this morning. Great stuff. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Great. Ah, uh, he's he's all right. I mean, he's getting better. You know, he's healing, but he's just not allowed to be out here yet. It's going to be a while still, probably a good month. That was a horrendous. It was awful. I mean, he's, he's lucky to have his leg. He's lucky to have his leg. Yep. At, at that age, the, oh, exactly. the way to recover from something that severe. Exactly. I'm glad he's still Yeah, oh, he's, do, he's just very frustrated. You know, wouldn't we all be? Yep. You too. Boy, there are some beautiful shells out here this morning. People out here shelling. There are so many fighting conks out here. These fighting conks are beautiful. 
They're all over this morning. All over the place. Look at There's one. That's beautiful. A Florida fighting conch. How are you doing? Also a lot of sand dollars out here. A lot of sand dollars washing up on the beach. I just can't get over all the shells out here this morning. Look at all these fighting conks. Look at them all. These are fighting conks, big ones, little ones, all different size fighting conks. They are just all over the place. Look at this big moon shell. Look at this. Look at that. That's a nice shark eye right there. That is a good size shark eye. Beautiful shell, absolutely gorgeous. People are just walking right by him. <laughs> it's funny, like there's some people out here. They're specifically out, spe specifically out here looking for sand dollars. That's all they're looking for. That's what happens. People look for conch shells. They don't look for anything else, or they look for moon shells and nothing else. So just because there's a lot of people out here shelling, that doesn't mean you're not going to find anything. And even the best, the best shellers miss things, believe me. I'm not an expert sheller, but I'm pretty good at it, and I walk by great stuff all the time. Look at that beautiful conch shell. Just beautiful. Look at the stripes. Look at the stripes on that thing. Beautiful patterns on these little fighting conchs. Oh, what a great morning. I didn't expect to find much of anything out here today. And it turned into a nice little morning. I've got these, I've been holding these two whelks in my hand. I showed everybody earlier, but I've got some new folks here. I just wanted you to see the difference between a lightning whelk and a pear whelk. The pear whelk is on the left, the lightning whelk is on the right. But you notice the openings are on opposite sides. The pear whelk on the left is smoother than the lightning whelk on the right. So that's a great illustration right there. Both shells are almost exactly the same size. The pear whelk on the left and the lightning whelk on the right. There we are up in Roy's, at Roy's Beach again. That's Roy's Pine Trees. He'll be back out here with us one of these days. As soon as the doctor gives him the okay. It's gonna be a wonderful day too when he returns to the beach. It's gonna be quite a little celebration. Anybody wondering about red tide, we're okay here at North, in North Naples. No red tide here at Del Norwegans. This morning the news did report red tide down to the south of us, further down in Naples. 
It looked like maybe down around the pier area. <sighs> that red tide has just been relentless. Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, please tell your friends. Hit the share button. Let everybody know what you're watching. See if we can get a few more people to join in there with us. And please introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're from, where you're watching from. That's what these beach walks are all about. It's about bringing people together here. Hopefully making new friends. Another little murex shell, a little apple murex caught my eye there. The sun was hitting it just the right at the right angle. A little apple murex. Great little, nice little shell. That's my second one this morning. There's a bigger one down here. There's an old murex down here by my feet. This one has a chip in it. It's losing its color. That's an old Murex right there. It's probably a lace Murex, probably a white Murex shell. All kinds of neat little things washing up on the beach. Great, great shelling morning, great. I'm just going to go a little further north and spin around and head back down to where we started. But pear whelks, I am seeing pear whelks all over the beach, all different sizes. Pear whelks, look at that, everywhere, just amazing. Oh wow, look at this. Look at this big, beautiful olive shell. Look at that one. Gorgeous. That is a really nice olive shell. Wow. That is a great looking olive right there. My pocket is full, already full. And there's more to be found. Look at that moon shell. Wow. Never seen one that dark before. That's cool. I don't know how many moon shells I found so far this morning. Half a dozen. And the more I look down here and walk along the beach, the more just start popping out. It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy.
Lots of beautiful scallop shells out here. This is the north end of the park here. I'm up in area five. At Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. This is North Naples, Florida. Shells are starting to thin out here now. Starting to warm up. It was 57 when I started this morning. That's cool for a Florida boy. <laughs> A lot of people come out here and find shark's teeth. For some reason, I can never spot them. They're out here. You can find shark's teeth out here. You just got to have the eye for it. Know what you're looking for. My eyes go for the shells. For some reason, I, I spot the shells and not the shark's teeth. I don't get it. Nice little lightning whelk here. Boy. I've had a fantastic morning shelling so far. I hope you enjoy tagging along. I just can't believe how many whelk shells have washed up on the beach lately. Look at that, there's one here, another lightning whelk. Another one down here. All because of those big waves. The past two days have brought some nice stuff up onto the beach. Oh, look at this. What a gorgeous nautica shell. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous shark eye. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. He's just sitting there on the beach looking up at me with that big eye. I had a feeling I was going to find another one of those up here. This north end of the beach is usually good for a murex and a moon shell or two. More lightning whelks. everywhere. Lots of broken ones. But there are a lot of whelks on the beach. If you want a whelk shell, you're going to find one today. It might not be perfect. It'll be a whelk nonetheless. There's another one right down there. 
right there. Now what's funny is I'm gonna come up and go up here just a little bit further. And I'm gonna turn around and walk back and I'm gonna find things that I walk right past. I mean, that's what happens when you're out here shelling. It's all about the different angles you're looking at these shells. And the light's gonna be hitting it from a little different angle on the way back. Nice little worm shell right there. Nice worm shell. There's a really, really old Murex. See it right down there? That's an old Murex, just to the right, to the right of that oyster shell. I've seen a lot of little dead crabs around here. I don't know what that's all about. See, there's one right down here. Uh, oh, excuse me. Ah. I hope. The red tide isn't up here. It's lurking just offshore, I can tell you that much. I know the red tide's out there because I can smell it every once in a while, but it's not up on the beach. Remember I said this part of the beach was good for probably a murex and a moon shell? Well, there's a little baby apple murex shell. I found several of these little murexes today. There's a little baby apple murex shell. I am running out of room in my pockets. My hands, my left hand is full. I got the camera in my right hand. Ugh. Some awesome, uh, huh, uh. what is this? Another nautica shell. Another. I just. What a wonder. <clears throat> Excuse me. What a wonderful morning here. Look at that. Moon shell. Another moon shell. Everywhere. It has been a moon shell morning. It's incredible. And they're all, shells are just scattered all over the place here. Good morning. Look at the whelks. There's another whelk shell right there. Missing the bottom of it. Nonetheless, it's a lightning whelk. Another lightning whelk. There's another one. Well, that's a nice one right there. Another lightning whelk who's half buried in the sand. Goodness gracious. I need a bag. I have never picked up so many shells during one of my beach walks. There's so many whelks out here. I want to pick them all up. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm going to leave them for other people. Look at these piles of shells here. Scott and Linda, where are you guys at? And Karen. Ugh. The whelks. What a fantastic morning. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Watching the video isn't quite the same as being here, but it's the next best thing. I appreciate everybody tuning in. I just, huh, I can't even pick another shell up here. I'm gonna try. Another shark eye. Another shark eye. 
Wow. What a great, great morning. The conch shells, the fighting conchs are everywhere this morning. The beach is just lined with them. Of course, there's people that collect those fighting conchs. I mean, they come out and just pick up dozens of them. I don't know what they do with them. Send them to friends, I guess, as gifts. Fantastic beach walk, that's all I can say. As Roy would say, absolutely glorious. A glorious, glorious morning, a glorious beach walk. Gonna turn around. Start making my way south here. And I know there's gonna be dozens of things that I'm gonna wanna pick up, but my pockets are full. I might be able to squeeze in another Lace Murex or an Apple Murex, maybe a moon shell. My pockets are pretty full. <laughs> what a killer morning. Here's a nice big pen shell on the beach. There's a nice big pen shell. Try to pick it up here. A pen shell. These are really fragile. Very thin. They're like paper thin. You can see how the light shines through it. The pen shell. You hold it up on its side, it kind of looks like a writing pen. That's how it got its name, the pen shell. But I hadn't seen any of these on the beach for a long time, and then all of a sudden yesterday, they just started washing up. Neat shells, pen shells. That's one thing I don't have in my collection, because I can't carry it while I'm doing these beach walks. Today would have been a good day to have a bag with me, darn it. There's no way I was gonna be going in the water today. A lot of times I wind up in the water during the beach walk. So that's why I don't carry any bags or anything. Chasing dolphins, fish, stingrays, whatever's swimming around out there. I like to get out there and join it if, I, if at all possible. There's a big piece of worm rock over there. More whelk shells. I thought I just saw another nice pear whelk down here. Now it got away from me. I swear I just saw a big pear whelk sitting down here somewhere. It's crazy how you look away and you look back and you can't find something. There was, there's a pear whelk down there. I just don't see it. <laughs> Is it down at this end? There's so many cool things. So that's the problem. So many neat shells. Big pieces of shells, too. I've seen some big, big broken lightning welts. I don't know where that pear welt went. Huh. Interesting. Sometimes my eyes play tricks on me, too. I think I spot something, and what I thought it was, it wasn't. Remember I said, oh, I'm going to walk back and I'm going to find something I missed. There's another. Another Murex. Another Apple Murex shell. Walked right by it earlier. Nice little lightning whelk down there. I 
I just can't imagine what I have just walked past. There's just so many shells out here. They're spread all around. Spread all over the place. Get out to the beach if you want a lightning whelk. That's all I can say. Lots of lightning whelks out here. Scallops. Beautiful scallops out here. Here's a scallop shell. Lots of beautiful scallops. Fantastic shelling morning today. We haven't I haven't had a good shelling morning in quite a while since before the red tide Plagued us there for months This is the best shelling I've had so far Since puh, August Maybe July Maybe that far back Full hands, full pockets. <laughs> Please, I don't want to find anything else. <laughs> There's another one of those big pen shells on the beach. P-E-N, pen, just like a writing pen. If you enjoy these beach walks, tell your friends, hit that share button, have them join in with us. Don't hog up all the fun. And I always say this several times, sorry if it grinds on you, but nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks. I love coming out here and keeping you updated on our water conditions out here. But if anybody wants to make a little contribution, it always comes in handy. I really appreciate it. it kind of makes me feel like I got a purpose out here. If you do want to send a little something, you can find my PayPal, uh, PayPal account info right in the description of this post. The link to my PayPal account. Another little lightning whelk down there. Two little lightning whelks, side by side. Two lightning whelks. Well, the shell gods have definitely blessed us this morning. Definitely want to thank them. <laughs> they gave us a great morning out here. And there's piles, piles of shells out here for anyone that wants to come out. Visit our beaches here. Again, there's no red tide here at Del Norwegans. No red tide. It's to the north and south of us, but right now we're still lucky there. It's, it's out there, it's offshore. It's, 
keep our fingers crossed that it stays out there. Hey, if you're watching, just watching for the first time, please, please introduce yourself to everybody here. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Besides just getting to enjoy our beach here, the purpose of these beach walks is are to bring people together. It's to bring people together, make new friends. That's why it's called social media. I want everybody to socialize here. The beach walk is just a, a platform, a background for everyone to chit chat, get involved in some conversations, make some new friends. Naples is an interesting community. So many people, so many people wind up in Naples. It's just amazing. I am always amazed at the people that come up and introduce themselves to me here on the beach, saying that they watched my beach walks, they've been following my beach walks. That just blows my mind. Same thing with Roy. People come up and say, introduce themselves to Roy, say, I saw you on Facebook. Roy will be back. Don't worry, Roy is going to be back out here with me. Just don't know when. Hopefully soon. Little baby lightning whelk there. I just, no room to, nowhere. I have nowhere to put any more shells. My hands and pockets are full. Murex, I dropped a Murex out of my hand and right where it fell, it fell right next to another old Murex shell right there. There's another old Murex. Just incredible. All the beautiful little treasures out on the beach this morning. Oh, I can't leave this sit here. I gotta pick it up. A beautiful, and I already walked by here, remember? A beautiful alphabet cone. Look at that. A beautiful little alphabet cone. Huh. Got a little chip. Still, I love the colors on those alphabets. Such neat shells. We've been seeing everything. Beautiful olive shells all over the beach this morning. There's a nice little olive shell. Right in the center of the screen, that's the olive shell with the little point on it. Sam Pipers, my little friends, my little feathered beach friends running around. That sun's really popping out now. Uh, there's a horse conch down here. It looks like a little horse conch. A beautiful little horse conch. I can't resist picking it up. A beautiful little horse conch. I gotta have it. <laughs> I'm addicted to picking these shells up. Beautiful little horse conch. Bear with me here. I'm trying to get it in my pocket. Get a couple of these shells out of my hand, maybe into my pocket. It's overflowing here, and I don't want them rubbing against each other and breaking. I do want to 
I definitely am not going to leave this alphabet cone on the beach. I don't have a lot of them in my collection, that alphabet cone there. Well, I think I am done shelling. Unless I find a whopper out here of a shell. I have to leave the rest for somebody else. I got a nice little variety this morning. Murexes, moon shells, whelks, an alphabet cone, a horse conch. Quite the gamut. There's one of our little feathered friends, a little snowy egret out there. There was a lady out here earlier this morning just, <coughs> excuse me, just picking up sand dollar after sand dollar after sand dollar. There's some beautiful stuff out here today. A great, great Saturday morning beach walk for sure. Definitely one of our best shelling days in a long time. Look at all these little fighting conchs down here. See the fighting conch shells? Do you know which ones those are? Sam, there's little baby fighting conchs. There's a little baby conch. See right there? Fighting conchs. Lots and lots of fighting conchs out here this morning. All different sizes. Huh. I just cannot resist the temptation of picking these things up. Yeah, that one's broken. Thank goodness. Broken moon shell. <laughs> There's another broken one. Again, thank goodness it's broken. <laughs> Look at those. Look at all these shells out here. This is area four, by the way. If you're planning on coming up and doing some shelling. I'm sure you're gonna find something nice up here. Wow. It's a lot calmer out there than it has been over the past several days. Please, please. Oh. Is it? Yep. Another Nautica shell. <laughs> Just what I needed. One more in my pocket. Yeah. Everything. I'm like a little kid in a candy store with all these shells. You gotta draw the line somewhere. You gotta stop. It's so addicting. It is, shelling is addicting. 
I had several friends that got hooked on shelling. When you're walking the beach, it's like eating potato chips, you know? You just want to take that extra, go that extra 10 yards because you're afraid you're going to miss something. You just can't stop walking the beach. It's like when you're eating potato chips, you can't just eat one. Yeah, some people can. I can't. Look at all these little sand, little sandpipers. I call them little beach mice. They look like a bunch of little mice running around. Look at them hopping around. Hopping around on one foot. Beautiful view looking up to the north now. The sun's come out. Look at that sky. Absolutely beautiful. An incredible morning we had, huh? Did you enjoy our little shelling expedition this morning? There's plenty more shells out here, believe me, I didn't pick them all up. Love starting my days out here.
wonder what it looked like up at Wiggins Pass this morning. I wonder what the shelling was like up there. There seemed to be a lot of stuff at the north end. shells, files. That's what happens when we get these rough surfs for a couple days. Stirs up the bottom, brings the shells in most of the time. Be sure to like and follow, like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Is that not a beautiful view? Incredible. It's incredible. It's sounds of the waves out here. picture right there. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Happy Saturday everybody. You can watch if you just tuned in you can watch the replay of this video on Facebook and on YouTube. As most of you know, nobody pays me to come out and do this. I enjoy doing it. But little contribution now and then always helps out <laughs> just makes me feel a little more appreciated to know people are out there and enjoying these walks I always put a link to my PayPal account in the description of these posts here it's a great little surprise when I get an email says from PayPal says someone sent you money <laughs> Absolutely wonderful morning this morning. We had a great morning shelling this morning. Lots of beautiful shells out here this morning. My pockets are full. My hands, my hand is full. <laughs> Found some great stuff out here this morning. 
definitely check out the replay of the video. A wonderful Saturday morning beach walk. Turkey Day is just around the corner. Great, a great time to spend with family and friends. Give thanks. Remember, it's called Thanksgiving. A day to be thankful. Boy, it is really warming up nicely. It was 57 when I started this morning. It was a bit on the cool side for me. Now it's really warming up. You see the shadows on the beach now? I love those shadows. That's the trees making these nice long shadows across the beach. That sky though, wow, it's gorgeous. That blue sky is just phenomenal this morning. A few little white clouds here and there. A beautiful, beautiful color of blue. And there's that view I love so much looking up the beach right there. So nice seeing families out here enjoying this park getting in touch with nature I think I'm going to call it a morning here. It was a great morning. Definitely watch the replay. Great, great morning shelling. Found some really nice shells this morning. Best shelling morning in a long time. Isn't that beautiful? 
all natural. Nothing spoiled here. We just let Mother Nature run her course here at this beach. She seems to know what she's doing. Have a fantastic Saturday. Have a great weekend. A great and safe weekend. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.